What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, I've got the new Nightwing and Red Hood. Let's open it up and check it out. Alright, first and foremost, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. My favorite figure already is Red Hood. Uh, Nightwing... Um, I would have been, I would have been happy with just Red Hood. Now it's a two pack. Uh, this particular two pack was $29.99. So let's just say 30 bucks, 15 bucks a figure. That's not terrible at all. But, uh, the box itself is amazing. The, uh, this thing would display in box great. So even if you are an in box collector, this thing has a great presence on a shelf. Uh, the window is plenty big enough. Uh, I like the fact that Nightwing is actually sort of in a, an action pose, which I think that's really cool. But a uh, closer look right there. I mean, you'd rather see this than this, right? So there you go. <laughs> uh, side of the box, we got their names. This side, we got a little window. And honestly, the back is one of my favorite parts of the box. Um check this art out i mean these if i'm not mistaken these are probably four by sixes um and there's a very good possibility that i'm gonna take these and actually cut them out of the box and frame them because the the artwork is just awesome on this i mean it i mean look at this i mean i mean in red hood right there that artwork oh, that is just amazing but uh yeah, this is um, a really cool uh, set of figures. So uh, one of the things I'm going to talk about before we actually do get it out of the box, because it's sort of prominent and right there in your face, is the fact that the pistols right here, they're not molded in the holsters, which I'm very happy with. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me get this out of the box, and we'll uh, we'll get the review started, and we'll talk about these figures more in depth. So I'll be right back. All right, so we got things out of the boxes, um, or box. I don't know why I said boxes, uh, but we definitely have uh, both figures. And uh, first impressions, uh, amazing. Um, I'm, I'm digging a, a lot of things about these figures um, right off the bat. Uh, but let's look at some of the uh, accessories. They don't come with a lot, but let's look at uh, Red Hood actually comes with uh, is almost like a holographic there's a very there's a shine on it i mean it's it's a little too shiny but we got the red hood information right there which is really cool um dc uh base but what i said earlier about the back card i went ahead and did it and i actually cut the cards out so I mean, that's a nice little frameable piece right there. I actually like this more than I do the trading card. Um, so, yeah, this would put a nice little mat around it. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, the same thing for uh, Nightwing. We've got the uh, little trading card. Again, it's got a really shine to it. We've got the information on the back. Base plate. And here's the back card off of it. And it's the same as the trading card, but let me know in the comments, which one do you like? Do you like the trading card or do you like this back card? I think the back card has more of a artistic thing to it that you could actually keep and display on your wall if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to start with uh, Nightwing because he's my least favorite of the two. Uh, as far as accessories go, it comes with a couple couple of batons. Uh, they don't extend. They're basically that. Um, they're they're nice little nice little weapons. They uh, they serve a purpose, but that's it as far as accessories for him. The figure itself, right off the bat, um, I really dig the paint on both of these figures. The paint is the thing I'm really digging. Uh, I'm digging it a lot. But out of the box, and after closer inspection, 
the head sculpt looks really good. Uh, the hair, everything on it looks really good. He does have this accessory on the back for the uh, batons to actually go into, which is cool. We'll put those in in a minute. But overall, check out the paint. We got a nice matte black, and then the red has a little bit of a semi-gloss to it. It's not overly glossy, which I really dig that. Uh, the figure itself looks great uh, overall. I think uh, I think I think they did a really good job with this figure, and uh, I dig it. Now, as far as articulation goes, um, we should have some decent articulation, uh, head down or chin down. Uh, not much going back. His hair actually hits the collar right there. Excuse me, Red Hood. So that's a little bit of a, I wish it had a little bit more head articulation, but the head and neck actually look good together. So it's not like too small, too big. Uh, side to side, good, nothing wrong with that. I do know that getting him out of the box, uh, the joints appear to be a little tight. And I do like the fact that he has this collar right here that actually moves with the shoulder. So, I mean, he can get some really good uh, shoulder articulation. That is great. I'm truthfully digging that. But I like the fact this collar actually hides the joint, which uh, that's good. I dig that. Uh, do we have a, we do have a bicep swivel. As far as elbows go, good, good range of motion on the elbow. Good double, double uh, joint there. Uh, we do look like we have some upper torso rotation right there. Uh, do we have a lower? No lower. Oh, wait a minute. Does it? Hang on. Now, it doesn't really rotate on the lower. Side to side, it, it does a really good job. So the upper and lower part actually go side to side. So that gives you a decent amount of articulation side to side. That's not terrible. Ab crunch. Ooh, no ab crunch. I mean, it's, it's, it's very slight, but that's about it right there. Upper, lower back, it, not too bad. I mean, he can, he can sort of get it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's decent. I mean, we can, that'll help with the neck as far as the head looking up. Um, Going straight over. That's about it right there. We should have relatively good hip articulation. All right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I do, there is no sw uh, thigh swivel. We actually have no uh, thigh swivel, which honestly... I can sort of live without it, but it, it makes it for a cleaner look, but that's going to limit us when it comes to our poses. So that's a little bit of a downfall, but I can sort of, I may be able to overlook it because the fact this looks so clean right there. I mean, this looks really good without that thigh rotation. Yeah. Knee wise. The knees is what I thought felt really, really tight on, on my figure, especially on this uh, right leg. But as you can see, great knee articulation, double joints. So that works. And do we have, yes, we do right there. Toe pivot. That's what I'm talking about. And I actually really dig uh, the boot detail. I like that beefy looking boot. That's really, really cool. Ankle wise, wow. That's insane. Check out that. I mean, that thing almost goes like parallel. That's that's like one of the, the most drastic, I think, ankle pivots I have ever seen. But uh, yeah, Nightwing right there. Just an amazing looking figure. And like I said, the batons actually peg in right back here on the back. So that should uh, 
make him for a little bit more of a an interesting look. It looks like they go right there and right there. They do have a little bit of a slight bend to them. I don't know if they're supposed to be that way, but there we go. Nightwing. Overall, it's a good figure. I mean, it's it's going to be a great figure to uh, have fun with and pose up. And, uh, yeah, I dig it. So uh, there you go, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about Nightwing. Um, for the price point, 15 bucks. Like I said, the two-pack was 30 So um, I think he's worth 15 bucks. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm actually more okay with it now that I've got it out of the box than I was prior when I actually saw him in the box. But I tell you what, guys, I'm going to uh, pose up Nightwing, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll do Red Hood. All right, Red Hood, the one that I actually wanted more than the two. And I saved it for last. Why? Because I really dig Red Hood. Um, talk about his accessories. Uh, it comes with two, comes with two pistols. And right there's the pistol. It's all chrome, which I would have loved to, I mean, the, the chrome's okay, but I'm probably going to paint the grips on mine to do maybe some black grips, um, or even just do like a black wash over them. I don't know yet. It's just, uh, you guys know me when it comes to weapons. They're just a little too silvery. Uh, there's a lot of great detail on the weapons, and... I personally think it gets lost when you paint everything one color. So, uh, yeah, I, I definitely can see me uh, changing these up a little bit, maybe doing a little bit of a paint work on them. But they are great-looking pistols. And they're separate. They're not actually in the holsters. Now, this figure here, um, it just, I mean, look at this thing. That is such a sweet looking figure. The jacket, uh, the colors. This is an amazing figure. I mean, this might be like one of my favorite DC figures of the year already because I just really dig this thing. Um, again, like with Nightwing, we got the matte black finish on the paint. Uh, as far as his suit goes, we got the more of a semi on the emblem right here. But the thing that really sets it off is the head, the gloss paint on his head sculpt. That to me is what sets this off and makes it very unique. Um, the coat is really cool. It doesn't come off, which that's fine. However, articulation on the head is greatly diminished because of this collar right here. Um, he has like no... He can look straight ahead, but that is about it, uh, unless you really get into this waist. Uh, but yeah, if you look at his head right there, that's pretty much as far back as it goes. He does actually look down uh, quite a bit, which is okay. But uh, I'm glad that his head actually will at least go back to where he's looking straight. Uh, as far as side to side, again, it's this coat, the collar, he does have side to side, but this is going to play in a little bit, but not, not terrible. Not terrible at all. The details on the jacket itself, if you look at the back, looks really, really cool. Uh, shoulder articulation. Does he have as much as Nightwing? Let's find out. The joints are tight. I'm going to tell you right now, they feel absurdly tight. I mean, this is, all right, that one went up there. There we go. Oh, nope, boom, I just popped it out right there. So be careful if you get this one. Be careful. That peg is so, oh, wow. That is, it's almost like a ratchet. I don't know, you can probably hear it. Wow, that is that is crazy tight. But let's see if we can get it pegged back in, which we did. We think we did. There it is right there. There it went. 
So definitely uh, be careful with these shoulders. And that's the reason why I like doing these reviews because I want you guys to see if something actually malfunctions. I mean, I think that's the point of doing a review is sort of put it through its paces and if it malfunctions, it malfunctions. So on my figure, it's the left uh, arm from the back, his right arm from the front. Um, but yeah, it's it's moving now, but just it's it's tight. So if it pops out, just pop it back in. So uh, I'm not going to take this one too far up like we did this one, but he definitely will go a little past horizontal. So I may need to put some heat to it and loosen it up and uh, where he's a little bit more limber. As far as his elbows go, right there, same as Nightwing, amazing elbow articulation. We'll do the other arm. Yeah, looky there. That's what I'm talking about. He should have the same ab as Nightwing. I don't, yeah, there's not, not a tremendous amount of difference. He looks like he might lean over a little bit more which is good, uh, side to side, that's good. He's a little stiff on this right side again, but as you can see, left side goes over good, right side, yeah, but I'm okay with it. Uh, the holsters are very uh, thick and bulky, so um, I'm curious on if this is gonna affect his hips, and not bad at all, right there. Not bad at all. Now, that's with the guns out. Let's see what happens when we put the guns in because we're adding some uh, extra extra um, obstacles. <laughs> I will tell you this, these holsters, um, getting the guns in, it's... Uh, it's not as easy as you would think because of the way the body is and the way the holsters are made. So that's a little, uh, it's almost like they're a little too high. Let's check this other side out real quick. All right, so that one went in. So let me kick him over to this one side and pull this holster down. The guns are actually pretty stiff as well, which I'm okay with that. We've almost got it in. It actually sort of got hung up on the jacket right there. There we go. All right. All right, so we got the guns and the holsters right there. Looks great. Uh, actually, I think the guns look better in the holsters <laughs> because it covers up a lot of the silver. But as you can see, the guns don't really affect his hips. So good job. But as you can see, they're so stiff. See how they like sort of bow out a little bit right there? Uh, I think with a little bit of uh, heat, a little work, we could get those to lay a little bit flatter. As far as his knees go, we should have good articulation on the knees, which we do. I dig it. And of course, we've got, uh, we've got the toe pivot, which every figure should have it. Marvel, put toe pivots. Um, but I'm curious to see if his ankle flattens out like Nightwing's does. It does not. And the biggest reason I can tell is Red Hood has thicker ankles. Uh, he's a little bit beefier of a figure. So, uh, yeah, but such an amazing looking figure. I really, really dig this thing. I'm I dig this thing a lot. So glad I was able to pick him up. So I tell you what, guys, I'm going to get uh, Red Hood posed up, and then uh, we'll get the spinny spinny out. I'll give you my final thoughts on both of these amazing figures. All right, guys, we're back. We got them posed up. We got them on the old spinny spinny. And as a pair of figures, I think this is probably one of the best pairings that I've seen as far as paint, uh, costume, textures, uh, everything. They, both of these figures go very well with each other. Um, 
So, and I will say this, I did not find a lot uh, that I didn't like. Uh, Nightwing, um, honestly, uh, the ankle, you can see the ball on the, uh, from the calf to the uh, top of the boot. That's a little distracting. Um, but other than that, head sculpt's great, paint's great, his accessories work. Um, so yeah, if I had to put anything with him, um, hands, some more hands would be great. Um, as you can see the way, as he comes around, the way I've got him posed up, you can actually reach his arm all the way back, grab a baton while it's still clicked, clipped in to his, uh, back harness right here, which I think that's a great little pose. Um, but yeah, overall, I dig it. Um, it's a very well balanced, his head movement is probably the biggest articulation wise and no thigh rotation. Again, that's not a, a game changer for me, but that's probably the few things that I can see that I don't like about red wing, red wing, <laughs> night wing. Wow. I was looking at red. I just combined them, you know, red wing and, you know, knighthood. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I can say as far as Nightwing goes, uh, Red Hood, other than the fact that his arm popped out because the joint was crazy stiff, I'm not even going to count that as anything. Uh, paint is great. Uh, the coat is a wonderful addition. Um, it does limit head movement, but not that big of a deal. Uh, the, the guns themselves all being silver, you know, I'd rather be sil silver than like, you know, a color like red or blue or green. Um, I think with a little bit of, uh, attention, you could make those weapons look really, really good. The holsters, those are a little boxy, a little bulky. Um, but the way I see it is I'd rather have boxy holsters where weapons can go in and out that have them fixed where you can't take them out. So again, that's not that big of a deal. Um, artic articulation wise, again, there's really no thigh uh, swivel. So that's going to hurt you as far as posing goes. Uh, but from head to toe, paint, texturing, the armor, everything just looks amazing on this figure. So I can't really complain uh, too much about anything with these figures. I definitely think they're worth picking up. Um, even if you're not a DC fan, you should appreciate how quality these two figures look. Um, I definitely want to know in the comments what you think about these figures. Even if you don't collect DC, let me know what you think about them from their quality and the way the paint and everything looks on them because you should appreciate that because... That is very well balanced. And a lot of times we don't get really good balance with colors, uh, with action figures, but these, they're balanced, balanced out really, really, really well. So yeah, guys, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging them both. I'm so glad I was able to pick them up. I can't wait to photograph them. I think they're going to photograph great, but, uh, yeah, there they are right there. Nightwing and Red Hood. Totally awesome figures and a good price point. Very good price point. Again, with Red Hood, it would have been nice to have maybe another pair of hands, but I'm sort of that way with any figure. You know, I will say this, the, uh, the hands on Nightwing, since he's not doing a pistol, they're a little bit for, more forgiving. Red Hood has two trigger, uh, trigger hands. So, you know, I, I would just like to have at least some fisted hands. I mean, if anything, a two fisted hands would be great because if you don't want to pose them uh, holding two weapons, it'd be nice to have at least a fisted hand because that way you can create another dynamic uh, pose with it. But guys, that's it. That's it for this unboxing. Um, we're going to stop right now, and I do want to do a little bit of an announcement, but I need to move this out of the way because... I have some information I want to share with you. So I'll be right back. All right. So announcement involves the bat cycle, or as I was calling it, the hell cycle. 
Uh, in my hunt video, I actually talked about, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these figures and this cycle. Do you want me to do a double unboxing? Do you want me, how, how would you want to do it? I left that out there, but I called it audible. And the reason why I called an auto is because I saw something on Insta, on old Insta ham, and that made me decide that I'm going to do this as separate. This is going to be a separate video because I think what we're going to do is an unboxing video and a weathering video all at the same time. Because I actually saw one of these um, where they put like a, a black or a brown wash over it, and let me tell you something, it looked amazing. So I want to do a little bit more research. I don't want to take it out of the box yet, but I definitely know that I want to put a little bit of a wash to it, you know, brown, black, I don't know yet. So I wanted to think about it. So this will be a separate video. I am going to do a unboxing and a review on this, but it's also going to be a weathering of this bike in the same video so i wanted to let you guys know that but yeah yeah that's what we're going to do that's that's the plan that's the plan and i wanted to share it with you guys so but anyway guys that's it for this unboxing and review video of nightwing and red hood totally let me know in the comments what you think i want to know how you feel about these figures but uh that's it also, if this is your first time to my channel, please make sure and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. And I want you to remember this year, this year, 21K in 2021. That's got to be the motto. That might actually be the hashtag for the year. Um, we're starting the year out. Can I get to 21,000 subscribers by the end of the year? I can't do it without you. All of you guys out there, uh, all of my subscribers that I have now, anybody that's watching this video right now, whether you've subscribed to me yet or not, only you can help me get there. And I'm truly asking for your help because I'd love to see that happen this year. I think we can do it, but I can't do it without your help. So let's see what we can do, guys. 21K in 2021 we're going to hashtag it hashtag 21k in 2021 i might actually have to put that on a t-shirt as well but anyway guys that's it i hope you enjoyed it definitely let me know in the comments what you think good or bad i want to know what you think about these two amazing figures and also about the unboxing and weathering video on the bat cycle would you like to see me do that because i really want to do it but Guys, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.